Hi guys, Ryan White here with Century Fishing Rods. I am here today to talk about our weapon rods, probably the most versatile line of fishing rods on the market today. They can do anything from catching bass in freshwater to sea trout to tarpon to tuna to striped bass. I mean, they cover the whole gambit. So what we're here to talk about are the characteristics of them. Number one, we're gonna talk about the graphene infusion. So what we're doing is we are emulsifying small pieces of graphene, which is a nanotube carbon that is stronger than steel, harder than diamond, but has elastic properties. So in other words, when a normal rod would bend until the point where it broke, the graphene gives you that extra little bit that doesn't allow it to turn loose. It also aids in our anti-twist technology, which I will uh, get into here in a minute. Uh, it has our S2 glass construction, which are nanofibers of uh, cilia emulsified in the fiberglass, which is kind of like the graphene. It provides a, a structural element to the resin. So again, it's emulsified in the resin. Uh, it's an ultra high modulus fiberglass. S2 stands for structural squared. So it's a structural glass with a structural resin. Uh, next, of course, just like all the century rods are, they're autoclave processed, which allows us to very strictly control the resin content and also allows us to super compress the carbon and evacuate any excess air or any excess resin out of the composite. So if you're doing uh, Formula One or aerospace such as Century does and you're not autoclave processing, you are not giving the best possible structural composite that you can. The autoclave process is essential to the sensitivity and performance uh, and longevity of the Century rods. The butt here is off of one of our surf models and this is a zero taper butt which makes it more efficient on the compression and recovery than a tapered butt. There's not as many, uh, uh, the material doesn't have as much trouble staying in round when it's a straight taper versus a, a tapered taper. So as you can see, this has zero taper to it. However, this also contains our gearbox design uh, system in the butt. What that is, is changing patterns and materials throughout the butt section to get a progressive load and unload like you would get from a tapered butt while having the efficiency of a zero taper butt. All of our one piece inshore rods and two piece inshore rods, actually, whether it's a mag or a regular weapon, have our fulcrum style butt, which means the stiffest part of the rod is, exactly underneath, way the they should. is underneath the real um, seat. A so lot of our builds like that you see on the rods, the they, are, the they are rod, designed which helps to an overhand casting style, uh, makes up for a little bit of it. So that's why the weapon rods. Uh, perform so well and cast so well, even though they are a sub eight foot rod. So that's the inshore models. The other thing that all of the weapons have is our total torsional stability. So what this is, is a super complex uh, wrapping uh, method that we use that keeps the rod, even with, this has a six point five tip top on it and you can see there's barely any deflection side to side total torsional stability so it keeps all of your energy during the compression and recovery of the rod on a single plane so there's no side to side deviation or torsional loading from the rod during the cast or fighting a fish um, there's some other rod companies we've been using this uh, method since 2015. There's some other rod companies that are just coming on board uh, using this same technology and one of them just put out a rod using same exact technology for $12,000. We've been doing this since 2015. Next we're going to talk about the Fuji guides that we use. Nothing but the best on the weapon. Fuji Titanium Torzite. The surf models and the Magnum models both come with four 
double foot guides and the runners are single foot. So the stripping guides, 25, 12, 10, sorry, 25, 16, 12, 10, 10, 8, 8, 8. The weapon mag or the weapon uh, surf models have the same uh, guide layout. And then our inshores have the single foot guides and that's a 25H, 12H, 7M, 6L, and then, excuse me, six runners. The other thing that all the weapons have are the Alps RPD reel seats. Very nice reel seat. These are pretty much the nicest reel seats on the market. They're the tactile touch, so they have a nice grippy texture to them. And they also have aluminum nuts on them. So the, the nuts on them, double locking nut, are both aluminum. So there are no thread strips on these guys. Super, super solid seat. And these also do uh, accommodate van stalls quite well, as you'll see in the uh, ad. The other thing we want to talk about is the Japanese shrink wrap and grips. The Surf has the full grip. The regular weapon has the short button grip. And actually, the new uh, weapon models will be coming with a six inch, the weapon mag models will be coming with a six inch uh, cigar grip here on the front for handling larger fish. And then finally, we provide everything with an ergonomic style butt cap that fits nicely in the palm of your hand during a cast. Same thing with the inshore models. Nice ergonomic butt cap. And of course, our Japanese style shrink tube, which uh, you've come to see on not just centuries, but many rods there since. So, any questions, you can direct them to centuryrods at gmail.com or feel free to drop us a line at 252 987 2428 or 252 216 5285. Look forward to speaking with everybody and tight lines.